Hi guys and welcome to our channel. In this episode, we will try to reach out our final destination from this series, which is Lisbon. If you are new to our channel, this is our seventh episode. We have started in Porto and we have had seven days to get to Lisbon. On our way, we have seen seven cities in seven days, using only public transport and finding accommodation on the spot. Trying not to rely too much on Google. It has been a great adventure, we have met great people with great stories, and we have ended up in funny situations. So check out all the episodes starting with Porto to Lisbon, and have a full glimpse of this beautiful country. And please consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and enjoy! Bom dia. Sunny city of Calda di Reina. Yeah. Do you know this guy? No. He's a guy which was in the morning. Oh, yeah. How are you? We're good, How are you? Guys, how are you? In my city. It's, it's your, your city. city. Yes, now we just took the train. To, uh, okay. Yeah, we go to Lisbon. Okay, have a nice journey. Thank okay. you. Bye. Cheers. Take care. See you. Bye. Wait. Ticketing. Mm -hmm. Hi. <laughs> oh, here. Hi. Uh, two tickets to Lisbon. So it's now at 12, yeah? Thank you. Train is now at 12. Ah, it's not coming, I have to stop the bus. Oh. Once I have to put the luggage, is there, yeah? For Lisboa? Yes, you This one, yeah? Two tickets, I have to leave the luggage, is there, yeah? Thank you. Ah, yeah, no, Pierre Dembasso. Ah, cool. Is this one 12? Hello. <laughs>
finally, we did it. We did it. We are in Lisbon. We arrived in uh, Lisbon. So uh, we don't know exactly where. <laughs> uh, we know where. Next to the, the, the stadium. Yeah. The Stadio de Alvarade. Alvarade. And how is this helpful? And, uh, <laughs> airport. So every big stadium have a metro station, underground station, metro. Anyway. Okay, let's find. Uh, so let's figure out where is this one. Look, metro. Metro. Yeah. You see? Yeah. Let's see how uh, we're gonna get to our hotel. Because yeah. meantime, we did the booking. Because we knew it today we're gonna be in uh, Lisboa. Yeah. <laughs> so we done we done the booking in advance. Yeah. In the bus, I think. No. Yeah, I did it in the bus while uh, I she was, was having a nap. <laughs> sleeping. What's your first because, impression? Uh, first yeah. impression? I don't know. It's a big city, so. I have to discover it. Yeah. And uh, is this a one? A few hours left. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Daily tickets, 24 hours after yeah. first use, six euro point eighty two. Yeah. Wait. Oh. All right. this way. We don't know grandma. Yeah, just wait. The grandma asked us where she needs to go, but we just we are, <laughs> we are lost like her. We are more clueless than she is. <laughs> We did it. Yeah, we are out. Hello. We are in the right place. <laughs> Reservation. What is the name? Edward. Edward. We've done it today. Yeah, that's for one night, right? Yeah. So we took our room. Yeah. How much did you pay? Euros. Yeah, it's six pounds or seven something euros. Ah, okay. Almost eight euro with the six pounds. Oh yeah. And we have the breakfast included as well. Breakfast included, by the way. The lift is. Elevator is quite big, so 10, 15 people get to get in inside without problem. Six or six. Oh, piece of Hollywood. Well, 606? Ah, that way, yeah. Why do we always get the room next to the lift? They don't know that I have a sensitive sleep. Oh. Okay. Is there a big room? <laughs> No, it's not. You can try to close the door. It's not big, but it's clean. The thing is, how uh, the way to go inside the toilet. You have to jump to the bed. Or, yeah, you need to be very thin. You see, you can do it. But it's not, like, easy accessible. We came downstairs, we changed, we grab a bite, have an espresso, and then we are run. heading. Huh? <laughs> and then run. <laughs> yeah, and then run. And then we are heading to the touristic area, I guess. Yeah. Or Go discover the city. Yeah.
We will take a bus to somewhere. Sure. And we are outside. We are in Lisboa. We are in Lisboa. Big city life. Big city life, yeah. Back in business. Definitely has the vibes of a big city life. A lot of people, a lot of cars, noise, a lot of buildings, <laughs> tall buildings. Have to figure out where is that uh, tram. Oh yeah. I just want to take it for a ride. Tram or cable car or something. Oh uh, yeah. I think I can see there something. At the As far the end now. Tuk tuk, Anna. Oh yeah. Tuk tuk. That's a big queue. I can say, yeah. Huh? The queue is not long, it's very long. <laughs> Where? Yeah. <laughs> how how long do you think it's going to take? Huh? Yeah. If it's working with these tickets, if not, we need to buy. This one working? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Olha, não tens apanhado aqueles bacanas que trazem aquele cartão da Europa, o cartão do Tram 28 or Electrical 28 is one of the most famous and iconic trams in Lisbon, Portugal. It has become a popular attraction for tourists due to its scenic route throughout some of the city's most historic and picturesque neighborhoods. The tram network in Lisbon dates back to the late 19th century. Tram 28 itself has been in operation since the 1930s using classic remodelado trams that are vintage yellow streetcars, still preserving much of their original charm. The remodelado trams are small and have a nostalgic feel, with wooden interiors and brass fitting giving passengers a glimpse into the past. We are down from the train, you see it? So we waited for almost an hour yeah, to one get hour. inside. We didn't pay anything because it looks like it's working if you have a 24-hour ticket. I'm not sure if it's working if you have a day ticket or one-way ticket. But if you have this one, 24-hour ticket is working. You just have to tap it. Don't have to pay nothing, nothing, just have to wait. Yeah, just have to wait a long period of time. 
I think we have uh, huh? tricked. No, no I joking. think we have um, done like half of the tour or half of the route. Yeah, I think it's a route actually. It's a route, like a normal route. People, normal people are using it like normal days. Yeah, yeah. just as tourists local are using it like an attraction. And uh, for local people, is normal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, we just decided to get off and to explore the city by foot. So yeah. let's see how it goes. Yeah, we did this one. So yeah, we did this tick one. The box. Tick the box. Yeah. <laughs> if you're spending a couple of days in Lisbon, it's worth visiting the oldest operating bookstore in the world, Livraria Bertrangi. Established in 1732, this iconic bookstore is located in the Shiadu district. Despite being damaged in the 1755 earthquake, it was rebuilt and has continued to serve book lovers for centuries. Livraria Bertrangi has a rich history and has hosted many famous Portuguese writers and intellectuals over the years. In 2011, it was officially recognized by the Guinness World Record as the world's oldest bookstore still in operation. Lisbon is renowned for its vibrant street art, which has become an integral part of the city's cultural identity. The city has embraced street art as a legitimate form of artistic expression and many of its neighborhoods are adorned with colorful murals and graffitis. The city has even established dedicated street art galleries and hosts festivals that attract both locals and international artists. So go outside, explore the streets and enjoy the beautiful street art. Oh. So, I love. Huh? What is your uh... I'm here, by the way. No, I know you're here. What oh, is your uh, concern for today? Because we know where we're going to sleep, so... But My concern is how much we're going to pay for dinner tonight. Because everything seems very expensive here. <laughs> expensive comparing with... Uh, the rest of the... City with... Yeah, even with Porto. Yeah. Porto was quite cheap.
We just had our uh, dinner in uh, Lisboa. Lisboa. I just want to be very honest. I had the most boring uh, meal in Portugal. Yeah. In Portugal. This one was the most boring. Boring. The thing is... You can say whatever you want now. We've tried to find the restaurant with Portuguese food because we are in Portugal. But we want proper Portuguese food, which should be cooked by Portuguese chefs. So, we were too hungry, <laughs> so we had to enter this restaurant. The food was good, it's not like it was bad or not tasty. Not the tasty. food was the problem. It was boring. It was Bo boring because ring. we are looking for experiences, like probably you've seen in the episodes before like to find people to talk with, the food to be tasty, to have like a overall Portuguese experience. This was Portugal, but not Portugal experience. Lisboa, it, may, it looks like it's very diverse, let's say. Maybe it's our problem because Maybe we came it, yeah. underprepared, <laughs> yeah. And we, we came, came with to discover, we didn't came with uh, Google, uh, uh, how should I say, list, what to do and what not to do. We just came to discover. We did this by purpose, not because we, we couldn't do it. Yeah. We ate just because we were hungry <laughs> and that's it. The good part is that we've drink a Portuguese wine. Oh, yeah. And for the dinner, for the wine, we've paid 55 euros yeah 55 euros and i left the tip of two euros that's good yeah i was generous <laughs> That's it. Go, go, go. <laughs> this is Lisboa by night. Any normal neighborhoods, maybe? I don't know. I don't know even where we are. All the center. Old center, maybe. But this is how it looks like. Very friendly. <coughs> well, it looks a bit dodgy, but... No, it's not. Maybe we just ended up in the wrong area. So we have discovered the food market, drink market, the market. Market of Lisboa. And here, everything smells and looks amazing. <laughs> yeah, and it's too late to eat more because obviously it's nine o'clock almost. Yeah. We are not used to eat so late, so today. We can't do it. So this is the biggest regret for yeah, today. Yeah, because it's such a such a great market with a lot of things, cheese and ham and sweets and drinks, uh, traditional, traditional things. Traditional yeah, traditional products. So yeah, unfortunately we had a big dinner, not very yeah, nice. So loaded, but cannot resist. We it cannot looks resist. too good. <laughs> So 
So it's with pork, it's not with wine. Yeah. Obrigado, thank you. Nice. <laughs> I'm not ready to say interesting again. <laughs> See you tomorrow morning. Can I try yours? <laughs> this one, the white one is sweeter. No? Okay. We are done for tonight. See you tomorrow. <laughs> bye bye. We are back. We are back in business. Hello from the lovely uh, area, city. city. <laughs> it's called Oliveros. Oliveros. Anyway. Oliveros. <laughs> yeah, just want to see how uh, people are living in Lisboa. Not those ones in the in the city center. Just wanted to see another uh, neighborhoods. Not just the touristic and the pretty one that everyone is exposing. We want to see how it actually looks like for a normal person. Okay, I let's think see. We, we are <laughs> at the outside of the city. I don't yeah. think we took it. We took the right way. I don't know. Maybe we should go that way. <clears throat> I don't know. Doesn't matter. Just. Yeah. Oh, and uh, enjoy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lost in Lisboa. So I think we are the same as London has outside outside skirt, London skirt, where I guess the rent is cheaper comparing with the uh, central part. And here you find different kinds of people, different nationalities. This is the beauty. Yeah, yeah, it's the same like London, actually. Find people from all around the world, I think. But here, predominantly, I think they are, what I, from what I've noticed, people from uh, Asian countries like India, like Nepal, and um, African countries, probably countries that once they've been uh, Portuguese colony, colonies. Yeah. Angola, Mozambique. Yeah. Cape Verde. Cape Verde, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> talk yes I want to talk what do you want to say uh, we had our lunch yeah. in the airport the last uh, meal in uh, Porto, Portugal in Portugal Lisboa in Port Portugal Lisboa and now we go to Flying our back gate to London <coughs> go back to work <laughs> go back to work go back to the same routine for yeah. a while any thoughts about uh, Lisboa about Portugal, Lisboa about the trip a short uh, review well the trip was nice it was interesting to do it this way 
like we haven't traveled like this before, this way with the backpacks and everything. I liked it more than I thought. About you want to do it again? Yeah. Not yeah. with this country, with another country. No, with another or country. You never know. Or you never know. Maybe yeah. we will return to do the rest of the country. But it's fun and it's very refreshing and free. You feel very free not to know where to go or to be constrained by a time or something. About Lisboa, I think we need to come to... To visit more because it's a big city and yeah. we cover just a And whatever you, we've piece seen, it's not city. enough to have an opinion. We yeah. visit it more, like two, two, three days to see exactly how it is. And what the city has to offer to us. Yeah. To have a proper opinion about the city. To have a proper opinion, yeah. But when it comes to Portugal, I love it. The people are nice. I prefer the rural side and the small cities and not the big ones. But yeah, I like it. The food, the drinks and everything. And we are so, so similar. They are so similar with our culture. Unexpected, I can Unexpected, say. Unexpected, yes. Yeah. Anyway. But yeah. <coughs> See you on the next trip. See you on the next trip, which will be soon, hopefully. Yeah.